When you're trading, it's really important to know where those invisible lines of support and resistance are. As you know, IntelliJX gives you those. You can see those on the screen here. We have this median line, upper minor, lower minor line. Then we have a couple of major lines. We've got a blue major line and this purple major line as well. They're giving you the lines of support and resistance. In addition to that, we have these cribs. These are telling you where the market is trying to get to. We also use daily levels on all of our charts, whatever we're trading, because we know the higher time frame is stronger support and stronger resistance. And we just want to know where those edges of the envelope are so that when we're in a trade, if we're getting close to one of those, we can see if the trade might want to turn or if we can see this, that the movement starts to change when we're in there, we might want to get out. So let me just show you how we create those daily levels. What you're looking at here, this is a daily chart. So this is giving you charts for the whole day on the NQ. I've put the lines up here so we can just go through adding them in. This was yesterday, this is today. If you look at yesterday, here's your cribs on the downside. So this was the point that we closed the market at here. This is the movement so far. Where is this market trying to get to? It's trying to get to their first crib and then the second crib. Now, if you look at what's happened here, that's already got down to the second crib. So where else is the market trying to get to? Well, you go back and you look at previous stopping points in the market and you can see we've got one down here attached to the uh, candle from a few days ago. That is the next logical point down. So you go from here and you look left. Where's the next logical point down? It's there. Where is the next one? The next one is right below it. So you choose the intercrim and the full crib from there. What about on the upside? This is moving down. Looks like it's moving down pretty strongly now, but it's, you know, the market hasn't quite open. This is pre-market trading. The upside, so we start here, we look left, and we always start with the candle, which is right to the left, because that's the last point that was laid down. That's telling us that the market wanted to get up to that point there. So those are the points where we'd set our daily levels. Why have we set two? Well, in effect, there's a zone. There's a buffer zone each side during the day. And you'll see that sometimes the market will push into this. If it pushes into this, we call this a zone of a uh, reversing zone. It's likely to reverse. If it pushes through, it's likely to come all the way down. You've got a support buffer zone below you here and a resistance buffer zone above you here. Now, because you've put these lines on your daily chart, all you need to do now is go and change the time frame of your chart and your lines are automatically in the right place now. Albeit here you'll see a relatively long way away from the market as we stand. But as the market moves, you can see that it looks like probably the first area that will come into play is the support zone here. And as you see, we've had quite a few nice moves down here with signals where the market has moved down, hit the cribs and is moving on down there. So that's it. Simple as you like. You set your daily levels from your daily chart using the cribs on your daily chart, change your time frame and your lines are already on the time frame below. Any questions, just drop me an email, peter at intellijex.com.